morning everybody I'm, uh, making some wax moss traps now these are pre-made ones but the handles broke off of them so I got to fix a handle for them but I've just got some some used plastic jars I've washed out I'm gonna I'm gonna drill a hole in them I'm gonna try to hopefully this drill bits better than the one Daniel arms had Got it in there now. I'm going to go in reverse mode so it, <clears throat> this doesn't just grab it and uh, tear a side of it out. You basically just burn through it. <clears throat> just like that. I think I've got some more of these up in the, in the barn. But what you do is you take uh, one cup of water, one cup of sugar, a half a cup of vinegar. Now it didn't say which kind of vinegar, just uh, vinegar. You could probably use apple cider or the white vinegar. And then you slice up one banana peel. You heat up the uh, the water and vinegar and sugar, get it all dissolved, and put that in your container, and then you uh, lay your banana peel on top. But I've got to uh, make some type of a hanger on these. I'll probably just go through uh, through the lid with a piece of wire or something. I'm just going to drill about an eighth inch hole in the in the top of this. I've got some uh, some scrap electric uh, wire, galvanized wire. I'll just uh, make a hanger. I'm just going to make a little loop in the bottom so it doesn't pull through. Make these any way you want to. Dirty. It's not going to be real heavy, so you don't have to have a fancy hanger. But, uh, once I get the uh, solution in here, we'll go find a place to hang them. Alright, let's see if this old uh, Coleman single burner will uh, light up. It's made in... Uh, 1940, I believe. Yeah. 1940 model. Didn't have the valve open enough. We'll uh, get this thing uh, warming up and let this flame settle down. Probably need to put some, uh, some fuel in it. I can feel the heat though. Just gonna warm this stuff up. Get all this sugar to <clears throat> dissolved. Y'all the view of it. Yeah, 
You don't have to bring it to boiling or anything. I believe that's good enough. We'll shut this stove off. I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to melt my plastic containers, but I got another banana here. I just hate it when people eat on uh, on YouTube. Anyway, here's our banana peel, and I'm just going to cut it up in little chunks. Kind of like the other one. We'll be back as soon as this cools down. One cup of sugar, one cup of water, a half a cup of vinegar, and one banana peel sliced up. That's for your wax moth traps. Now, well, let me get you down here where you can see that uh, these old things, they, they still work. I mean, these, this, this one's made in 1940 also, same as the, uh, the Model 500 stove. And uh, even got something for the ladies. Nice little uh, guest powder to iron. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to uh, to finish with my my uh, off traps. See how much sticky I can get over on everything. That do it. We'll just drop our uh, banana peels in there. I think they recommend changing these out maybe uh, every week. Something like that. Wax moths, uh, <clears throat> they go in the little hole and then uh, they get trapped down here with the syrup. Now I gotta go put all this stuff up. 